Hey, it's Empress Rose. Welcome to our collective reading. Um, these are our general readings. Take what works, leave what doesn't. As far as my scrying ball, there was a monkey in there. I'm going to take that as some sort of mischief playfulness that gave way to a whale. Which I think we're usually thinking of depth. So there's playfulness, but there's a real depth behind it. So don't dismiss something sort of fun and playful as um, a surface element or just um, just something there's there's something there's a depth and a, a deep meaning behind something very mischievous and playful I'm trying to figure out if that is that like bad mischief is that you know well, let's not go looking for, you know, deeper, more insulting meanings and jokes and stuff like that. That's not, I, that's not the vibe I'm getting off of this. I'm getting that there might be something a little lighthearted, a little fun, but there's actually something, something really deeply emotional behind that. Um, and then there's uh, also, I'm seeing um, a lily pad, but also a lily. They're kind of both. So I'm thinking about innocence, I'm thinking about renewal, and I'm thinking about purity, like a renewal of purity, a renewal of pure intentions, a renewal of, of faith, perhaps even. So, like a genuine renewal. All right. Oh my goodness, this is a lot more than I wanted uh, or was expecting here from moonology my giant my giant deck here moonology and work your light magic what's on the bottom there i just flashed that to you seems like i should say something bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so it's a situation where not everything is known and you can't go wrong by um showing some love and deep affection or yeah some affection or some love all right Oh, ah, I love this one. Okay, these seem to be of a piece. Uh, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. So you have an idea, you have a dream, it needs some sort of practical plan. Like, right, we want to bring it from the ethers from the divine from the inspiration from the wands energy into the pentacle energy and so here we have full moon in taurus your dreams need a practical plan and i love this one too you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north so this is a plan that's already underway. You already have this dream. There's already something going on with this idea, with this dream. It's not a whole new thing. So um, so your dreams need a practical plan, but you're also not supposed to overthink the situation. Um, so get organized, but don't keep rethinking whether you're going to do this, whether this is going to happen, whether, you know, don't keep don't overthink it but definitely think it think it through enough to like get it going and get it moving um getting organized um and yeah you're already doing it so this is a, this is something we're talking about something that's already a known situation a known goal a known dream and idea and maybe you've been sort of um, hesitating or have gotten discouraged or can't see where it's going um, so but just keep going on the path like you have a vision you have an idea keep going down the path do the next step um, don't backtrack don't back out of, I mean don't back out of this whatever this is it's it's going keep going keep going with your plan and then we have surrender to the divine which I think is a great follow-up to that as far as like you really aren't going to be able to see where this whole thing goes. You really do need to let go of controlling the situation, knowing exactly what's going to happen, exactly when, how it all unfolds. Um, so surrendering, letting the unknown have some sort of say in this path and this journey. So you may be thinking it's the same kind of idea as what I saw last time as far as that Joseph Campbell quote, which I didn't go reread and memorize properly, but it is sort of like if you can see your whole path ahead of you, it's not your path. So there's a sense of needing to let go of some of this. And I think that's part of the overthinking that shows up here and you're already doing it. 
Um, you're already headed in the right direction. You need to do some practical steps but you do need to understand that you aren't going to be in control of the whole thing. You're not going to see the whole path, the whole staircase in front of you and every single step laid out in a nice measured way. There's a sense of needing to sort of let go of needing to know, needing to control, needing to be certain. And I think it's that certainty where we're seeing the stop overthinking, the need to feel certain and to feel absolutely sure about something. You don't need to feel absolutely sure about this thing. You need to just start doing it. Um, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. This is not my favorite card in the deck because it means that there's some difficulty, but there's difficulty that's opening you up to possibilities. There's difficulty that's important to you, that's important to your path, to, that's important to your full fruition. We were talking about the rose tree last week. Um, so for you to fully um, reach your full potential and full realization of your potential. Um, some things might be uncomfortable. So this might feel a little uncomfortable for you. Um, I wouldn't say it should be like excruciatingly painful, but, um, but there is a sense of, uh, you know, dilation so this dream can happen so you may be being asked to get out of your comfort zone a little bit you may be part of this plan part of this practical plan may be new to you maybe a little uncomfortable to you um, but i don't like i feel the dilation in this as far as like opening opening the portal for a vision to come through into the world but I'm not feeling like excruciating pain or anything with it. It's just uncomfortable, which is not how childbirth is um, for most people. So um, keeping your heart open and understanding that you are safe in difficulty. So also I see a sense of vulnerability. Well, anytime we're opening a portal between non-being and being, there is vulnerability that opens up there. So there could be emotional vulnerability as you speak out something that you feel or something that you think. Um, that could be very uncomfortable for you. Um, but keeping your heart open and knowing that even though this is a little uncomfortable and this is a little difficult, um, you are still safe. And um, even though you don't have the certainty that you crave, um, you're still, the, the, the divine has some sort of say here. The universe has some sort of say also. And sort of trusting that to be a co-creator, a co um Right. And last time we got co-create with spirit, the crow. So, um, so the co-creation energy here. So it's happening for you, not to you. If you need that as a mantra, I find that a pretty good mantra, actually, when I'm in difficulty. Um, it's all working out in your favor. It's all happening for you. Even if it's a little out of your comfort zone and uncomfortable. So adjustments are required third quarter moon. So we're going to have to do um something differently well that's what we've got here you need a pra your dream needs a practical plan perhaps you've been like dreaming 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 and then now we we're going to have to do do something a little differently than just dream just envision which is just i say that just but it's incredibly important stuff to be doing dreaming and visioning we're already doing something but we may need to make some shifts it may not go exactly according to plan and you need to let go of the plan oh with these three right here it may be very uncomfortable but you need to let go of the plan not totally let go of the plan we need the practical plan we need the plan but the plan now has to be practical and not just imaginary visionary right so we need the practical plan um and there is something about that that needs to shift and change and be maybe a little bit different than what you were expecting or hoping it's not so you need the plan, but it's not going to go according to plan. And you need to kind of maybe plan for that. Expect for things to not go according to plan. And expect to have to sort of change a little bit of what where you're going or what you... Mm. This is like head in the direction. Head in the direction, practically real world. Head in the direction and make shifts and adjustments as you go. And expect to make shifts and adjustments as you go. This is a lot. I don't want that many. Okay, well, um, so we got one, one from this deck, 30, Beyond Your Fears, The Weaver's Dance. So 
yeah, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone here. That seems to be abundantly obvious. You're going to have to do something that might scare you, right? This ever unfolding rose out of your comfort zone. Um, it might, might be a little lost. Well, so you might need a little daring do here. But the universe has a say here. Surrender to the divine. Beyond your, your fears, the weavers dance. So working through those fears, something beyond, something, you know, those that quote, your dreams lie just beyond, you know, your fears or what you're afraid of. So there is a sense of needing to face your fears, work past your fears. And fears, there's a little acronym that can be a little helpful sometimes. False evidence appearing real. So you may have had these experiences. You may feel that you know something due to experience or knowledge or whatever, or reading it or whatever. But um, this is, it's not true for the future. The past is not the truth of the future your experiences are not necessarily the truth that the future holds. We don't want to be fools. We don't want to, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. We don't want that. But at the same time, um, we do have to continue to take risks here. Um, so there is something, a step that you may be or have been in the past afraid of, and it's now time to move past that step and move through sort of that opening and that doorway. I'm seeing, you know how I was seeing like the the portal opening or the dilation of the opening between non-being and being. And I sort of see this um, mouth, this jaguar mouth as sort of that portal that's opening between being and non-being. So it kind of sounds like the jaguar is barfing up something for you or perhaps devouring you. I think that's where the fear comes in. We're not quite sure. Um, but, um, but, and then false evidence appearing real. So something's wearing a mask here. Hold on, let me go back and complete that thought. Um, so it, it, there's a scary element of going through this portal of starting this thing. Um, and you're definitely being asked to just start not think it through all of the way, not get every eventuality, because we have to understand that, that, that the general goal is great, the beginning things are great, and then these things are gonna come in and we're gonna have to navigate the river. It's a river, not a chute. So we're gonna be navigating this river and making adjustments as sort of things come in, um, but it's not gonna be a straight shot. And so that's why overthinking would be a little ridiculous here and having everything planned out. Um, I think I just overthought the concept of overthinking versus surrender to the divine. So, um, so anyway, false evidence appearing real. So here we have this false front. Something has a false front. It's really scary looking, but we get behind it and we find some magic. We find the universe um, there, having waiting for us, having prepared for us this place. All right, overall from the bottom of the deck, we have Six of Wands, Victory. Victory that not only benefits you, but benefits a lot of other people. You would like to win. You would like to succeed. You would like to, there's Six of Wands as a public element. People know that you've succeeded. It's a success in the public sphere. This isn't like, I wash the dishes. This is... Um, something more public than just you know maintaining your own home although you should be very proud of washing your dishes it is important to do and a really good thing to do so you should be very proud of that but there is something that wants to be shared it's a success that wants to be shared it's a success that needs the community it doesn't need the community to recognize it but it is that that's sort of part of the definition of success here is that it's public and it's um yeah past, present, inner landscape, what's at issue, environment, to-do list, possible outcome. Oh, this is funny. In the recent past, totally different deck. Um, in the recent past, we have the Page of Wands, which we had last week, also in the recent past. This is a person with a new idea. 
This idea is usually a little bit surprising. This idea is fertile. Like, and then we're talking about like going from wands energy to pentacle energy, right? We have the Taurus here as the earth sign, the pentacle energy. Um, and we have this wands, this brilliant idea, this inspiration, brand new inspiration coming in here. There's someone's had a really good idea. This is really fascinating how it's the same card. It's really, if you didn't already watch that video, I would highly recommend watching that video because it seems to be an echo of that video. There's a lot here um, that's an echo of that. You know, I just did the similar quotes came to mind. Um, so uh, page, totally different cards, but kind of with this page of wands in the same position, different deck, same position, it is really telling me that there's there's some sort of resonance from that. Um, and maybe maybe it's, yeah, there's a resonance there. Um, page of wands. So someone with a new idea, a very fertile idea, a very exciting new idea, passion. Um, maybe unexpected. Uh, a mess and maybe this person has received an unexpected message they weren't expecting to find this out here in the wilderness you know again we have a desert scene totally different deck with a totally different vibe a desert this is a desert can you see it's just like outcroppings it reminds me of like some of the desert areas around here with these sort of outcroppings and but there's passion in the desert in the middle of this barren landscape there is this fertile idea and where did it come from we don't even know it feels divinely guided current situation three of swords heartbreak well it surprised me i wasn't expecting to see heartbreak in the middle of this sudden quick three of swords Is this the, 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 this page of wands cause this three of swords heartbreak? Is it just sort of ran, life creating heartbreak? There's and then there's loss. Someone's leaving here. Someone has left. Um, and that that come, we'll deal with that more in in a few minutes. But this three of wands something's been you've it's like this passion and idea but there's this heartbreaking results or not uh, this could be messages coming in truths coming in that have wounded you are wounding you there's a deep heart wound i wouldn't discount this i wouldn't if, i wouldn't be like and there's a tendency sometimes to say like oh we're yeah, I'm hurt. It's fine. I'm going to be, you know, yeah, we're going to be okay. But part of being okay is really understanding that wound. There is a deep wound here around something. It's not fully healed. It's still, there's still possibly wounding thoughts, possibly wounding words, a, wo a memory that wounds repeatedly. There's perhaps a repeated message that cuts to your heart and causes pain um it could be a mantra you tell yourself that's what i'm seeing with swords swords being an anagram of words um swords and words and these words whether they're internally generated or at one time were externally generated and then we started generating them internally of ourselves like oh those are words those are the correct words those are the right words i will apply those words to myself but they're wounding words so we have these swords words coming in and wounding the heart um you may have journaled out about this you may have uh, you're in a very protective space you're you feel exposed you feel vulnerable i think we've had this vulnerability here this ever unfolding rose here this vulnerability um you feel exposed you feel very protective you're in a protective stance wouldn't that be wild if you were, you know, both causing and then also protecting yourself from the same wounds, which I think actually does happen, even though it's kind of wild. We're our own like attacker and also our own protector. So we're guarded, but perhaps one of the things we're guarded about is just our own minds and our own heads is causing us pain. And then we put up our guard, but the 
you know, the call is coming from inside the house. The words are coming from within, perhaps. And so we're, we're in this protective stance, um, guarded, our guard is up, we have our armor on, and we're not able to experience the fullness of the world because we have this armor on, but the reason we have the armor on is our own thoughts. Perhaps in this, own, in this picture, that's what I'm getting. Um, there could also have been or is something somebody has said, perhaps jokingly, Oh, perhaps that's the monkey in the wheel. Perhaps jokingly, but the depth of the wound is very deep. It's a lot deeper than what seems on the surface. There might have been a joke or something said, and the wound is much deeper than... And that's because of how you are seeing it and how you are interpreting it. Might be because of how it was intended um, also. Like, people do have ill intentions. Um, your inner landscape queen of coins what's the next step practically i like queen of coins with dream your dreams your dreams in your practical plan because that's exactly this card this queen of coins she's the taurus in the full moon um that's what's on your mind for the practical plan of how you're actually going to practically get to the next step queen of coins queens are very um, oriented on themselves, on their next step, on what they need to do next to accomplish their dream and their plan and what they want to bring to fruition here. So this is you, um, either that or you're also thinking about maybe a Taurus, maybe a Capricorn, maybe a Virgo, um, that is very able, you might be wishing for this, it's hopes, fears, inner landscape, you might be wishing for someone to who has a practical idea, a practical plan. Now, when they come with that practical plan, you need to be receptive to the practical plan and not just poo-poo it like, no, I already tried that. No, we already did that. No, um, or I did it this way because of this rather than, he, which is valid thing to think and talk about, um, but also being receptive to the practical plan. So if you're asking the universe, hey, can you send me someone that can help me with this practical plan? Um, don't resist the practical plan when it shows up. Don't naysay it. No, I don't. And no, I don't need help. No, I don't need this practical plan. No, I don't. I already tried all that. Um, uh, the, the, that's, um, it's important to be receptive to these things. So queen of coins, either you are very privately thinking about next steps. You're not necessarily out here yelling um, about your plan, telling everybody your plan, or you're hoping you're thinking someone is on your mind perhaps here um that is a very practical person and does think about next steps and you might be wishing for that might be wanting that um or it could be you what's the issue here knight of coins in reverse whoo we got this one um this guy a little bit ago so male or female uh knight of coins in reverse knights are usually about communication this knight is not about communication Night, um, coins, right? We've got queen of coins here. We want to have a plan, a practical plan right here. But if someone either has a plan that isn't sharing it or um, doesn't have a plan and therefore can't share the plan. This can be like exactly zero movement on something, exactly zero plan, exactly zero communication about a plan. Normally in the upright, we have like pretty extensive fantasizing plans ideas, um, but not a lot of movement on those, which is kind of surprising. I would expect that here with this, your dreams need a practical plan. But here it's almost like there might even be a lack of vision, but there's, a, there's no movement at all on this plan here rather than slow movement. But I do always insist on this one being in the reverse. So I think that it's possible though, that we could be talking about just a lot of fantasizing and no moving, a lot of talk, no action going on here with this Knight of Coins or no talk and no action, but talk and no action. But the Knight of Coins, there's already, you typically a lot of groundwork has been laid. We're just really planning out the next step and figuring it out. But so maybe in the reverse, we're talking about maybe perhaps groundwork has been laid, but we're not really planning it out. I mean, in this definitely, you need a plan. There's a plan that's needed here. And Knight of Coins always reminds me of an ox plowing a field. 
just doing a lot of work. Very methodical though. Like those lines seem really important to me as far as like going back and forth on something. Very methodical. So maybe we just haven't been very methodical lately. I mean, those have value, right? The problem with me being very methodical and, and sticking with that is it doesn't leave room for the divine. Um, and so this Knight of Coins, though, is, a, is probably going to be a person. Um, this person is something about the plan is not either. It's not really well thought out. There is no plan. It could also be that there's, um, yeah, or overthinking about the plan. More too, more, too much thought, very little action. In the environment, Six of Swords, people are moving on. This almost reminds me of like someone that's prevaricating a lot and a lot of people are just like, I, can we just get going on this? Um, this can also be a trip, a journey. This can be someone leaving, leaving something behind. There's a lot of protection here. There's a lot of lessons that have been learned. Um, we have this, these swords, these words, we're taking them with us. Someone has taken them. This is the external though. So someone is, has learned a lot of lessons and is moving forward with those lessons in a protected way. Someone may be leaving so maybe you're having someone leave um, a job, leave, um, move away. It's not you, it's somebody else. There's a leaving idea of somebody moving, somebody going somewhere, um, somebody on a trip or a journey. Or this could, be, this could actually be your environment. Like you're on a little trip here. Uh, we've got some grief at the beginning, some... Um, we've got this grief and then we've got someone leaving. So you could be going on a trip, like, I want to say eat, pray, love type trip. I mean, not like that long and that big, but like a sort of getting away to get away from as a response to heartbreak. There could be a journey here as a response to heartbreak. Um, there could be a journey here. Yeah, someone could, could have left and that this is causing heartbreak. It's your environment. So either your environment is the journey or is leaving. Your environment is leaving. Or it could be someone in your environment leaving. And just moving on. Like, is the whole environment moving on? Is somebody moving on? And Six of Swords is... Um, we have six, six, six here, which is about like watching your thoughts and being careful for how they are affecting you. So we have six of wands, six of swords, three of swords, two of cups and ace of cups. So three, two, one. And then that combined is a six. So that's what I'm seeing. And then we have three people here, a page, a knight, a queen. Um, the queen could be theoretical. The knight could be theoretical. <laughs> Okay, so Six of Swords. There's a uh, moving on energy. And then your to-do list, Two of Cups, really connecting with somebody. Um, really, this can be romantic. This can be um, just another person. Uh, but there is a sense of really connecting with someone, sharing joys and concerns, thoughts, some of our darker thoughts, some of our shadow selves, some, some of our... Um, there's, there could be like writing a letter here to somebody. Um, it is like, it's you, your dreams need a practical plan, but there is a connection here. Sharing a drink with somebody. There's a sense of, um, I want to say egos being tamped down. Nobody's showing off here. That's not the point of the conversation is to show off, display anything. We're not displaying things. We're simply relating and conversing. And it's like, it's a timeout. This definitely like has that time out of time. Um, this conversation or this meeting doesn't go on forever. It's not eternal. 
I mean, not that the relationship isn't, doesn't have some internal aspects to it, but as far as like this conversation, see how they're on a stage sort of separate from the rest of it. And the, um, writer Waite Smith deck really does this a lot, um, with these, with these cards, as far as like having a separation card, which means to me that there are boundaries around the situation, that the situation be has a beginning point an ending point. It's a parentheses. It's, like on a stage, maybe not on a stage, maybe on a stage, I don't know, but maybe not on a stage, but it's like a performance, but there's not a performance aspect here. It's just this limited time. Like the performance begins, the performance ends. There's a conversation that happens, um, perhaps around this leaving, perhaps around this heartache, um, a conversation that happens where we're not, we're not trying to show off. We're not displaying anything. We're not luring anybody. We're not trying to attract this other person. We're simply exchanging realities, exchanging authenticities. Um, yeah, like a conversation. Um, possible outcome, Ace of Cups. I, I like this. We go from Three of Swords to Two of Cups. It's like there's this healing, soothing conversation. Um, three of Swords, you are alone in your pain and suffering. Two of Cups, there's a sharing of this. Um, Ace of Cups, and then there's a new beginning. Perhaps this conversation begins a new relationship. There is peace here. Um there are new feelings here. I mean, it's really interesting because it's like you start out with this really practical requirement and this practical, you know, you're in dreams in a practical plan. We have queen of coins. We have knight of coins. We have all four um, arcana here. No, all, all four suits here. <laughs> no major arcana. Absolutely none. Um, but all four suits are represented here. Wands, swords, coins, and cups. And there's two of each. Oh my gosh, this is like a little Noah's Ark here of like the suits. Two wands, two swords, two cups, two coins. We have a little Noah's Ark, which is just like actually reiterating sort of the containment idea of this is a contained moment. This is a contained, um, situation. It's not just ongoing from here and goes out indefinitely here. This is a contained situation. Um, it's like a meeting with a beginning time and an ending time. And then we start something new. There's a whole new beginning. And I love this because last time we got star card here, ace of cups is just as gorgeous. Um, and we have this dove here, this peace, this new relationship, this new, um, fresh new beginning. It's got lily pad vibes. It's got, um, yeah, right. Like I was seeing the lily and the lily pad together in one image sort of overlaid on top of each other as far as that, um, a beautiful new beginning here. Um, but it's a renewal. It's up from the mud. It's a new, it's a renewed situation. It's a renewed energy, a renewed affection perhaps. But there's something new that happens here. We have two of cups leading to the ace of cups. So make no mistake. We're not going backwards. We're resetting. So maybe a relationship is going to get reset here. All right. And from Auspicious Symbols deck, we have Davantari, receive the blessing of balance, sound health, and self-care from Davantari. I like the balance coming in here, two of cups. So some self-care, especially if we're talking about three of swords possibly being within your head, especially if we're talking about moving beyond our fears. Um, sound health and self-care taking. 
the conch shell representing to me listening, listening to the universe. This medicine jar, medicine bottle. <laughs> Take your medication. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe that's the practical plan. All right, and finally, wrapping up this reading, closing it off um, with a prayer from the wild Kuan Yin. I like this. Now is the time to be open to what will be. Embrace your destiny, beloved. It is calling you forward even while it is hurtling towards you. Your time is now. I just feel like with the practical plan, don't overthink it. You're already doing it. You're already heading in this direction. And I love this. The direction is headed towards you as well. So there's going to, you're, you don't have to cross this whole distance by yourself. This, the universe or something unexpected will meet you halfway. I think that's been a message we've been getting like beyond this portal of fear and pain is something much, much cooler, but we have to, the portal only looks scary. The portal looks scary, but there's something beyond that that's in a, perhaps waiting for you or, yeah. So now is the time. Awesome. Well, that was lovely. Thank you so much for joining me here. I very much appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful week. And if you're still here at the end, like, subscribe, share. Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful week. I love you, babes.